pop, 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 pop. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God, you're an ugly adult. I never thought most of these monsters were ugly until I saw them as babies and then watched them grow up. I'm not proud of you. Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters Dawn of Fire. In the last episode, I was telling you guys how I didn't have enough money to upgrade my castle. Now, take a look at this bad boy. Okay, I have 80 beds in here now. I, uh, I got the 100k upgrade and then I got a couple more upgrades after that with diamonds. So now we got lots of bets. All right, guys. So before we get any new monsters today, I want to read some comments, starting with this one. Fun fact, the red prismatic quibble is quite literally the epic quibble. You are correct. I was talking about that in the last episode. Here's a fun fact for you. Miranda actually showed you guys the red prismatic quibble and not the epic quibble when she put that up on the screen. I mean, I wasn't going to make her change it or anything, but you will see they're actually slightly different. Okay, next comment. Comment. Hey Matt, here's a tip. If you want to level up your monsters, you don't need to feed them what they like. Just tap the monster and tap give and you can feed them any food of any quantity and still level them up. I am aware of that, but thank you for letting me know that again. It's good to be reminded of stuff because sometimes I do forget. But yeah, you can, you know, let's say we want to give Fat Pango some food. We just hit the give button and then we can give them whatever we want. So... It's not as efficient as uh, waiting until they want things that you have, but I feel like at the end of the day, it's probably easier to just make a certain type of food and give it to whoever you're trying to level up. All right, last comment. Tip, add a Tiawa to the continent because it adds so much to the song and makes a perfect quartet with Pom Pom, Saibop, and T-Rox. Well, I guess that's the first thing we're gonna do today, guys. Check this out. The whole snow area has been cleared. We'll put the quartet here. Pom Pom, Cybop, T Rocks. Okay, so here's Pom Pom. So go ahead and bring Pom Pom up on top of the. Whoop. Oh, there you are. Bring you up there. Okay. You guys are gonna be like all the way away from all the other monsters, so we can hear you extra good. I want. I want to really experience that quartet. Okay, that was a top comment. So you're not the only person who thinks that, John. I want you guys to know that I do actually read the comments and I enjoy when you leave me tips and things. So thank you for doing that. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Sometimes I, I like them, you know, give it a little heart or reply to it or whatever. I can't reply to every comment, but I like to show you guys some appreciation, especially when the video first goes up. Okay, here's Cybop. Now, is there a way to like get him up there easier? Or you, I guess, yeah, zooming out, there you go. I was gonna say, okay. And do we have a T-Rox? Did I put it in the uh, in the hotel? Or did I send it away? Ah, so we need another T-Rox now, guys. Okay, okay. So we need rock, water, cold. Let's get some rock, water, cold up in here. Okay, and breathe. And I'm just gonna assume we're gonna get what we want here. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> if not, I'll just do it again and waste my diamonds. Okay, it's nice and quiet, isn't it, guys? We're just chilling up here. There you are. I feel like that wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. And now you want more food that I have as well. And now stop. Oh, God, you're just, just... I just... Oh, okay. Right, yeah, you know what? It's really great that you want all the things that I have, and now I don't have them, so nobody's bothering me. Rock water, cold fire, buried... Speed? Oh, that's not it. Wait, what? What is that? Ew, it's a flog. I already got a flog. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going to the other breeder so I don't have to spend my diamonds right now. Two diamonds? What the heck? 96, that sounds like the right number, and here it is, folks, the Diawa. Ta-da! You hatched Tiawa. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up here now. Okay, okay. There it is. Oh, I got a new goal completed! Thank you very much. Oh, level 13! Cooking pot, dragon tower, stellar shrine, coconut cheese. You can't make cheese from a coconut, can you? Oh! Oh. Very nice. So I I, I guess. Tiawa's gonna have to do something with Pom Pom, Saibop, and T Rocks as well, right? Or else it wouldn't be much of a quartet. It's already kind of weird to call it a quartet. Hey, oh! I like that! 
Okay. I guess that's the whole thing, right? That did actually sound really cool together, so great suggestion. Though it reigns over nothing more than its own beds in the castle, the crown-like planks circling the young Tiawa's head make it a natural-born leader. The regal monster's subjects often turn to it for advice and guidance, but like most young'uns, Tiawa's life experiences are limited to its fanciful make-believe play dates with its pals. Right, because obviously it's a freaking baby. Who goes to a baby for advice? You, you probably shouldn't, okay? We need an octopus, ma, pom pom, ziggurab chorister at a mommy, Candelabra. That's a weird combination of um, monsters, but okay. Kind of awkward to try and record. I got this microphone. I never know what to do with the microphone. I got this iPad here. I wanted, to, I wanted to play this on a PC. Okay. I think I already told you guys that, but it on the PC, the frame rate is terrible for some reason. Look, all I'm trying to say, guys, is, is it's my job's like so super duper uber hard, and you should probably smash the like button. If you want to disagree with what I just said, you should probably figure out what sarcasm is. Okay, now, let's get ourselves, well, let's get our, I think only, he only needs to go to level five, right? Does that mean we can just send him away right now? No? Wait, what? Oh, there we are. Well, I had to tap on it first. Okay, naughty. Get out of here, dude. Go ahead. Bye. Wow. Ew. I really don't like turning babies into adults, guys. I'm not saying they don't deserve to, you know, get older. I'm not saying we should just kill the babies or anything, but turning them into adults, it's just terrible. The vibes on this island, though, dude, they're pretty good. Okay, I heard a little bit of octopus there, but I'm gonna need a little bit more. Also, does the description change? When we, uh, when we send them here? Because if so, I might want to read some of that. A respected forest elder, the octopus, need only occasionally dip tentacles in a pond for refreshment. Its once tender foliage has toughened and it still can remain earthbound indefinitely. Still, it leads a balanced lifestyle and enjoys the best of both worlds. Good idea, dude. Good idea. Now sing me a song. Sing me a song, little guy, a, a big guy. Yeah, baby! He's going again! Oh, yeah. These can all become prismatics, right? How does that work again? Where's that, uh, the thing? It's not here. Okay, that's fine. I think it only comes around now and then or something. I don't have a good grasp of all the concepts in this game yet, guys. It took me, like, 60 episodes to beat MSM. Okay, so we, we take it one step at a time. Yes, I am indeed a wonderful, amazing person for teleporting octopus here. Thank you for the five diamonds. Aha, here's our pom-pom. All right, pom-pom. We are gonna, I guess, technically what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up here, because I think the other pom-pom is ready to go, right? Ready to be teleported, so we can come up here, take this pom-pom, move it out of the way. Take this pom-pom, put it back in its place. And no one will ever know we did a switch. Shh, shh, don't, don't get, get out of get, get, get out of here. No, we don't want anyone to see there's two of you. Okay, now we can go back to the party island thing here and go ahead and throw in Beula. Here you go, Beula. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> it's so sad. It hurts me watching them grow up. I'm supposed to be proud of them for becoming adults, but it's just there's something... Like, look at her eyes. I, I tell you whose eyes you really want to look at. I don't know if I already pointed this out or not, guys, but like, you tell me Stog isn't dead inside. He clearly is. I think a lot of these monsters are dead inside. There's something very wrong with them. Okay, I guess it's because I'm used to MSM, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's something uncanny. I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, Pom Pom, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? You just got one come on over? Is that all you got? She looks like she, she doesn't look like she's having a great time. Okay, she looked she looked like she had a good time there a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. 
but when she's not singing, she kind of looks dead inside. Fully developed pom-poms display impressive motivational skills, undeterred in their drive to leave no stone unturned and experience in the many pitfalls of adventuring. Pom-poms easily recruit a team of willing followers. Oh! I didn't know you was doing anything else. If this thing wants a cookie, we give this thing a cookie, okay? That was a little overkill, actually. Now you're at level six. You only needed to go to level five, right? This ought to be a very disappointing scene, guys. Look at this. Our sweet little baby ma. All grown up into that thing. First, can we just say it's a good thing the ma has only its lower or mandibular teeth? Lest it bite its own tongue off? Alas, Ma is a bit of a blabbermouth. To be fair, it couldn't hold its tongue even if it wanted to, owing to the fact it doesn't have hands. So, does it ever close its mouth? Judging from the eye rolls of its monster pals, the answer is decidedly no. Ma's favorite pizza toppings include pickled turnip and jellied beets. That's a little bit weird, but that's cool. You're a monster. You can do whatever you want. Okay. He's singing twice! At the same time, he's harmonizing with himself! I like that. Self-harmony is the best harmony. They grow up so fast, guys. I've teleported ten young monsters to outer islands. And I miss them so much, and I wish they were little babies again, you know? My mom always tells me she wishes I was still a baby so she could hold me. She, she doesn't say that, but I'm pretty sure she wishes. Okay, I think I should get a scups, guys. I don't think I've even bred a scups before, so that'll be cool. Scups and Ziggurab are up next. Man, the scups looks really weird, guys. But in, like, kind of a cute way. Kind of reminds me of Cookie Monster, if I'm honest. You know what? I gotta admit, guys, it's a little too busy down here now. I'm just gonna drag this guy up here. Okay, he can hang out. He can hang out in the new place. All right? The horn atop the head of a suction cup scups is not only ideal for amplifying its silly squeaks, but also for catching moisturizing rainwater. The captured precipitation is funneled into the young scups' interior chamber, sloshing about as it sways to and fro. The older this kooky monster gets, the heavier its rainwater supply becomes. Oh, I see. I didn't know that was a thing when it came to scupses. Hey. He actually duets with Tiawa. That's kind of cool. I know Tiawa also quartets with these guys, but it's cool that, you know, they do something together considering they are standing next to each other. Okay, guys. Not saying that I'm, like, super economical when it comes to diamonds, but if this is going to take five minutes, maybe I'll let it run and we'll try and get another monster, huh? Oh my god, guys. All of these, like, four element monsters look amazing. I am going to get them over time, okay? Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and get our Ziggurab. Rock Cold Fire. That is not a Ziggurab. That is a friggin' Drumpler. Sell it. There it is. That's the Ziggurab. He's actually not that expensive to get. That's cool. Oh, man, he's, he's a two-tiered cake. Well, I don't think he's a cake, is he? Is he? I'm not even sure what he's supposed to be, to be honest. The Ziggurab's stone shell evolved to protect its sweet, squashy insides. Well, that does sound like cake. Telescoping shut when startled or sleeping, this creature is as tough as a fortress. Yeah, you knew this was gonna sound good, okay? You knew it, because it's the frickin' Ziggurab, man. It's just, a, it's just a good sounding monster, honestly. And I think it'll sound really good if we teleport it to Party Island. I mean, you can't have a party without cake, even though it's not a cake. I know that the, is it the rare or the epic? One of them is a sponge cake. I don't think this one is supposed to be cake at all. Sugar? Ah, you like sugar. Ah, okay, all right, what about this? Whatever, eat it. I don't care. I'm not giving you my slime though. That stuff is rare. Actually, I think the mushrooms are too. Maybe I should have. Uh, not done that, but it's all good. Oh, and would you look at that, guys. Four seconds left on our scups, baby! 
and it's ready. Let's go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God, you're an ugly adult. I never thought most of these monsters were ugly until I saw them as babies and then watched them grow up. I'm not proud of you. Nothing can keep a grown scups down, not even the gallons of rainfall it's collected in its body. Each exuberant leap and skip of the scups is amplified by the sway of its water supply and the suction of its cups. Monsters that try to keep up can quickly become exhausted, but luckily this heart-shaped monster is happy to share a hydrating sip of its ring water. Cooking pot, that ought to give us some good stuff. Let's put it up here. I'll bat it away or something, over here in the corner. Cooking pot, what can I do with this? Oh, I can make the coconut cheese. Oh, so I guess it's time for me to get some coconut milk and try that out, see how that goes. And I might actually just give myself a couple more slots. Man, I can have a lot of slots here. I'm gonna take all the slots. I don't care, okay? Just don't care. Now there are enough coconuts on this one tree right now, once they're all ready, to make a single piece of coconut cheese. Mmm, so yummy. Now it's time to experience the coconut cheese. What the heck did I just, I didn't even know I was doing that. Two hours, how about right now? Thank you, mmm, cheesy. Does anyone want the cheese? Cause if this is the, a really good thing, I feel like uh, it would be nice if somebody wanted it, but they probably don't. I mean, I just got the cheese for the first time, so they don't even know I got it yet, probably. Just wait till someone gets some cheese and they're all gonna be like, dude, did you hear? Did you hear that message? I got coconut cheese now. Oh, I really want some of that coconut cheese. Okay, well, I'm not giving the coconut cheese to Ziggurab, guys. Maybe I'll give him like this. Ugh. Why are you so hard to please, my dude? One, two. There. Now you can go to the island as well. The party island. It's where all the cool fun people go. Okay, Dunstan. I was gonna make a joke about how Dunstan is about to check in to Party Island, but I was like, no one's gonna know that reference. No one no one knows of the movie Dunstan Checks In from 2000 and something about a monkey who steals from people at a hotel, okay? But it's a great movie, I highly recommend it. Find it and watch it. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and speed up Dunstan's uh, trip to the island. I know this guy doesn't actually look that bad when he gets older. He looks almost the same, so that's pretty cool. He got more arms now, so that's always that's always good. I'm, I'm proud of this one, guys. I'm proud that he became a big, strong, three-tiered, not cake. I want to eat him anyway. He looks delicious. This island really is just a bop, though, guys. And now we got this guy as well. Oh, wait. wait hang on a second. I got confused for a second because I was like, is that T-Rex? It's both of them. Unfortunately, they don't really sound that much different from each other, so not really a big deal. Despite its solidity, the Ziggurab is agile and energetic. Using the resonance of air pockets and specially evolved appendages, it produces a huge array of complex rhythmic sounds and effects. Wow, very cool. And by the way, he also doesn't add much to the song because he sounds just like a D-Rox or something. Okay, one thing I haven't done today is uh, visit these guys, get my $20,000, very cool. Uh, I also gotta get that, okay. Uh, how do I go to the star thing? Or do I not get to do that? There we go, the gaze button. No, I already, don't be silly. Don't, don't be silly, no, no, oh, yes. Who's that Pokemon? Is that the Rudy Toot? Is that the Rudy Toot 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 guy? I'm not uh, super well versed on my Celestials. Da ding Okay, slowly but surely, guys, we are making progress. We made some freaking coconut cheese today, okay? That was definitely the highlight of my day. Definitely not those super cool Tiawa or anything. Definitely not all the monsters we just sent to Party Island. No, it's the, it's all about the coconut cheese, okay? It's a real thing, trust me. They can make cheese out of anything, guys. I mean, they, they make cashew cheese now, like, nut cheese, really? Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about cheese and I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, which I know you did because you're still watching, please hit that like button, okay? And don't bother leaving because you can just watch another one of my videos. Okay, if you click right here, you just, just keep the whole experience going. Thank you.